Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vijay Lakshmi. Today we are going to discuss about reading and writing files in Python. So this is module 3 of uh, introduction to Python programming. And uh, in the, here we are going to discuss about the chapter files and file paths. A file has two key properties that is a file name and a path. So file name is nothing but the name what we are going to give for the uh, document of the file and path specifies the location of a file on the computer where actually this file is residing stored in the computer so path will tell us where actually that particular file is stored in the computer example if you have a path like this c colon slash user slash uh, swigart and slash documents so this user swigart are nothing but the folders we say they are under the C drive and this is the document okay so here every file is followed by an extension so the part of the file name after the last period period is nothing but the dot is called the file extension and that file extension tells us what type of file it is for example if I have add dot C dot C means add is the name of the file after the period dot the extension what we have used is C C means it is a C programming file. Similarly, if it is a Python file means we write it as add.py. The file extension tells us what type of file it is. If we use .obj, file name .obj means it is an object file. So see this diagram for example, this is a, a file in a hierarchy of folders. So here this uh, project.docs, this is a file it is present inside many folders so first folder we have here is users under c drive we have a folder by name users in that we have a folder by name swigart or student and then uh, documents folder is inside this folder and inside the documents we have the doc, uh, docs file that is project dot docs okay guys so here c colon slash always represents the root folder on windows and it is also called as c drive okay and in linux slash is the root folder in linux to represent the root folder we use the slash root is nothing but it is the parent of all the files in the computer additional volumes such as dvd drive or usb drive will appear differently on different operating system for example on windows we have d drive e drive uh, f drive like that on linux we have mount that is slash mnt we represent with with forward slash on windows the path is represented with the backward slash and note that folders and file names are not case sensitive on windows and they are case sensitive on linux in linux operating system folders and file names are case sensitive coming for backslash on windows and forward slash on os x and linux on windows paths are written using backslashes as this is the symbol this symbol is used as a separator between folder names in os x and linux operating system we use the forward slash see this is the forward slash symbol as their path separator if we want our programs to work on all os we will have to write our python scripts to handle both the cases so here if we want our python programs uh, to work on uh, any operating system means we have to import the package os so here with the help of os.path we can make our programs to run by specifying the paths in our program now we have a function by name join that is os.path.join this if we pass if we pass uh, folder names as parameters this above function will return a string with a file path using the correct path separator. For example, to use this uh, method path, we have to import the package import os. And now I am going to pass the folder names as a parameter to this join function, to this join method. So here os.path.join, we are joining these folders, user, bin and spam, three folders. We want to join these three folders. So I am using the join. So I am calling the function path here. So now what will be my output here? I will get the output like this. User double slash bin double slash, that is the backward slash spam. So here 
double slash each backslash needs to be escaped by another backslash character that is why we are using here double forward slash sorry backward slash so on windows we get the path like this suppose the same thing if i am using the linux or os x operating system means my string my output will be like this i will be having a single forward slash crc user the parameters what we are passing to this join function user slash under user one more folder bin is created under bin we have one more folder by name spam so here forward slash is used in os x and linux operating system but backward slash is used in the windows operating system to represent the paths now the following example joins names from a list of file names at the end of folder name you see this is an example what we have taken to join the names from a list of file names okay to the end of the folder name and inside the folder we want to store these names so what are the names we are passing here in this list accounts.txt details.csv invite.docs so these are the three files so now i have written the code for file name in my files okay for file name in my files print os.path.join c colon slash users swigart file name so now under this file name okay i want to store this file name what are the files in my files i have three files here account.txt details.cvc invite.txt these files i want to attach to the end of the folder here so what is the end of the folder here users slash swigart so to the after inside this swigart only i want to attach my file accounts.txt so one will one output like this swigart accounts.txt this is uh, instead of swigart i can i can use it as a student that's what i have mentioned here so you can use uh, swigart as a folder instead of that folder name you can use student folder name here so inside this swigart folder again i am inserting the next file details.csv and invite.docs so like this you can specify the path of the folder where you want to store your files so here inside the folder as we got we are trying to store all these three files from the list next is the current working directory so here uh, i'll discuss this current working directory in the next video thank you all please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment